Welcome back to another video, you guys. What's going on? It's your boy Tony. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and we're gonna buzz down on this video right now. You guys know this car damn well, and today we're gonna buzz down on one of the things that kills these motors. Now, before we get into it and start going all crazy, let's get it set up on the ram, stick off the bumper, and get it ready to start working on. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. There we go. Yup, the mandarin intakes though. Forgot to update y'all on the weather. Super hot day today in beautiful California. Can't complain, super blessed. I'm gonna have to throw off this sweater cause it's hot. We back boys, fresh cuts. You already know, that Tuna Tuna swag going on. I don't even want to show y'all the back. All right, let's jump into exactly what we're doing. Let's jump into what exactly we're gonna be doing today. today we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be dealing with probably one of the most problematic things on these cars. And that being the gallery gaskets. I already got the new ones right here. It's got another bunch of other random gaskets too that I figured I might as well get since we're taking everything in the front cut timing cover off. A uh, thermostat gasket, a bunch of small rings and gaskets and stuff, a little extra surprises. This is basically all we need. We need a ton of this RTV. I got new bolts, new hardware because these are one time use. So the ones that are in there, once I take them off, not again. Here's you guys' part number. Gallery gasket hardware. The two main gallery gaskets is going to be this one. This one's going to be the biggest one. Your part number, right there. Part number. And the next one's going to be this smaller one. Your part number, right there. Sweet. This is where we're going to be busting down on today. We're, we're going to have to get to everything literally behind this. So, literally, everything needs to come off again. So, let's rip everything off. Intakes, coolant. Jeez, I don't even think about all that, that we have to do that. But. I don't even think about it. Might drain the coolant and try to save it because I ain't really not trying to pay that much for coolant again because I wasted a ton of it. If you guys remember the leaks I was having. So everything everything needs to come off because we're even going to take off this timing cover. So we got a ton of work to do. I'm going to keep you guys updated. We're going to buzz down on this. You guys already know how to take off intake. So I'm going to try to speed through this because what I really want to show you guys is how to take this off, what you need to do inside, and how to set the timing again. So the way you guys know whether you guys need to do this on your cars or not is when you look at this gauge, the oil pressure gauge, and it doesn't reach 120 or 115 anymore. Mine reached like the, this hash mark in the middle at full throttle and it's supposed to be 115, 120. So that's around 90. That's not normal at all. And you can smell like the like the oil inside the cabin and that's just, just not normal. So I'm going to buzz down on that today. It's nothing crazy. My oil pressure was not crazy low, but I'm not going to wait for it to get bad and do more damage to my motor. So we're going to bust on it today. Before we go any further, we might as well should just disconnect this. The uh, We should might as well disconnect the battery. I don't want anything crazy to happen when, you know, we're taking this stuff apart. So I'd rather be safe than sorry and just disconnect it right now. Now we don't have any issues. We can proceed with the tear off. currently got the oil draining out since we're gonna be making a lot of mess in here i'm gonna leave the oil the oil filter on i'm just gonna drain the oil so we can get access to everything else but i think i'm gonna leave that on there since we gotta take off literally everything and i don't want dirt to get in there so i think that's gonna be the move today now we're gonna start draining the coolant as well currently draining out the coolant as well i filled up that one but uh i just didn't have anywhere else to put it so i just started draining out on the pan the oil is pretty much done draining too, so all our fluids are pretty much going to be out. Can't wait to put new fluids in this thing. I'm debating or not whether or not to use coolant again, or if I should just get distilled water and some water wetter. Because I know on the track they're going to ask you to use to not use coolant because coolant is a mess. They clean up and then just ruins the day for everybody. 
So I don't know if I'm gonna go right now, like once I put it back together, I don't know if I'm gonna go distilled water then. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Pretty much took off everything already from the front end literally i took off the whole thing everything needs to come off if you guys are stock yours is a little bit different because you still have your your power steering cooler right there which is mine is on the side and my horns are right here and you got all that extra stuff but it's a lot easier to work on it considering you have to take off all of this and to like actually look at what you're doing and stuff it's a lot easier to do it that way i know if you guys are stock you guys have a lot more pulleys and like a uh, condenser over here and you got your ac compressor and stuff i know it's a lot more work but this is how you do it the right way second way would be to pull the motor but that's what other shops do we're not a shop it's just a home i'm just a kid in the garage you know dirt floors this is how we do it um right now we're gonna, just gonna start taking off all this stuff clear up the timing cover because we're gonna try to get access to all these 10 millimeter bolts so obviously all of this extra stuff needs to come off bell tensioners power literally every single thing on here has to come off Basically, so you can only see the timing cover. Everything's pretty much off, alternator's off, power steering's off, you have to take off the bracket, like so. That's right there. And it's got two bolts in the back. I re-threaded them back in, but they're back there. 14, just gotta get a 12 bolt to get to them. This one, we already took it off the bolt too, so this just comes out. See, that's the crank pulley. I got an AMS crank pulley for those of you that are curious. Lightweight pulleys probably weighs under what under a pound maybe probably run a pound super light Pretty much took off everything off the edges already that you need to take off like your fuel your fuel regulator I have a ground right there, so I need to take that off You obviously need to take off your AC compressor. You still have one The hardest part so far was getting the oil pan off. I put a lot of silicone, but I just had to give it some love Give it some persuasion and it came out Next thing would be to take off all these 14s and literally take off the timing cover. It's, there obviously is a perimeter of bolts all over this thing. Literally go all the way around and then we're probably gonna start prying it up from on top and try to get this thing unstuck and hopefully it comes off first try. Gotta take out the two bolts from the bottom of the oil pan. Should be facing up like that, take them off. Now we can start taking the ones in the front and then we can pull it off. Just like that, we got all the bolts off. Sheesh. Well, there's that. So we got the motor here taken apart. Battery gaskets are gonna be these right here. These things. This this is one of them, and then this other top one is another one. And as you guys can see, it was already starting to come out. 
So that's how you know these gaskets don't really go that well. That one was starting started to come through. This other one was starting to come through at the bottom. Kind of see it. See, you guys kind of see it right there coming out. It's coming out from right there too. Sheesh, this thing needed a lot of work. Which the first thing we would do is loosen this bolt. We would loosen this bolt, take this bolt off, let it hang. That's how you want, that's how the, the manual wants you to do it. Take off this Allen key bolt. So this tensioner can come off because we need access to the back part and take off the top uh, guide. Take off this guide, that guide, the tensioner, and we should be good to go. All right, another tip, I put in I put in a thumbtack right here on that hole to keep the tensioner from, because this is gonna come out all the way as soon as you untighten it, so. Oh! We already took off the top guide. Now we gotta take off this side guide with an eight millimeter Allen. There we go. Now the chain can be fully removed. First gasket is off. This one doesn't actually look like it's in terrible condition. Alright, all right. major, major, major W right now. We're not even, well, I mean, we pretty much took off everything that we needed to take off, but we got so blessed. Well, first off, we had bad luck because all the bolts, literally all of them came off fine except that one, top. That one did not want to come off. Broke the head off, got the rest of the bolts stuck in there. Had to drill it out, scared as hell that it was gonna mess up the threads. And we got the rest of the we got the rest of it out. If I can just focus it on it. We got the rest of it out right there. There's the threads. Got the rest of it out. Thank God. I got blessed that it didn't mess up the threads. And the way I know that I didn't mess up the threads is we're gonna take another bolt. And we're just going to slide it on in there. The way I know we didn't mess up the threads is if we just slide another bolt in there. Goes right on in. You see that? Right on in. No issues. What's our Arbor Fright? Got some supplies and some food. Got some brake cleaner. We got a lazy sops over here. We're going to bust down right now. I don't think we'll get this little bar, Harbor Fright to clean the gunk off because I was not able to do it with the blade so we're gonna bust down right now yes sir yes sir look at that bad <laughs> Uh, we finished up the gallery gaskets. It was kind of a pain to get this top corner one. So I just used an Allen key instead, tightened it as much as I could with my hand. Everything's torqued down to 12. Everything looks good from this side. I didn't realize that the hardware was gonna be changed like to these. All right, this is Tony coming at you from the future. I got a little bit chubbier. I got a lot more hair now. I kind of let it grow out. I always had long hair my whole life. 
and I, I like the short hair. I just didn't like the way it went forward and I looked like I had bangs. It was really weird for me. So cut, I had to cut that off, got long, long, long hair. I guess I had to let it grow out then, not cut it off. Let it grow out, get long hair. But anyways, you guys are not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about this. So the motor did get pulled out and I want to make sure that there's no confusion as to what happened and why this happened. So everything you saw up to the previous point was 100% correct. Everything is perfectly fine if you do it that way. Hopefully you guys don't have any problems like I did. I had a few problems where that bolt, I told you that a few of them couldn't catch thread and they would just spin. I had a few problems with that. So I had to replace the rear timing cover where the actual gaskets go. I had to replace it, got another one. The one they sent me was actually wrong. So then I had to order another one once I got my money back, I ordered another one and then that one went on. And when we tried to remove the rear timing cover, we actually did mess up the upper oil pan. So I did have to take the motor out to do that job because I can't do that job in the motor because it comes all the way back here to attach to the tranny. So I needed to remove the motor. So this is, this is why that motor is out. I don't want you guys to think that we're doing anything crazy yet. This right now is not the time, but all in good faith. And I appreciate you guys so much for you guys' support and you guys' belief that we're gonna do something crazy or something, but it's just uh, some maintenance on the block, then major. I know you guys saw in the previous clips that I had these off to do the gallery gaskets. You don't need to take these off. You can take off just the outside perimeter and you should be fine like that. Um, these I just replaced them because I had a gasket But if you guys don't you guys could just take off the perimeter don't need to take these off to do the gallery gaskets Now at this time I did end up finishing recording another video for you guys But that's gonna come at a later time That video is gonna be how to do the timing how to do it everything top dead center everything perfect how to line it up I'm gonna make this stupid easy for you guys so you guys know how to do it yourselves at home That video is gonna drop for you guys later Our motors almost done getting refreshed and it should be getting thrown back in pretty soon I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. This video was very old, but I wanted to do it to the utmost correct that I could for you guys. So you guys can feel 100% confident doing it. And I feel like we did just that. But I want to break down the timing a lot more. So, And I don't want to make this video forever long. So the next video that's going to drop is going to be the timing video on the 350Z. These things tend to happen. And I'm not mad this happened. It just gave me an opportunity to take it apart, learn a little bit more about it. I feel a lot more comfortable this round doing it. So I feel great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. I hope it was helpful to some of you guys. I know this is a very common thing in the VQ world. So hopefully I was able to help you guys out, learn a thing or two. Um, if you guys like the channel, make sure to subscribe. Never miss out on another one of our dope videos. There's a lot of stuff that always goes behind the works in YouTube. And I hope you guys appreciate that because I'm doing the best I can for you guys. As always, if you have any questions on what I did today, make sure to drop it down in the comments below or shoot me a DM on Intune IG. Um, I'm gonna wrap the video up here guys. It's super hot today Super hot. This is one of the hottest days in California that I feel you know I'm sweating out here and It's just the morning. So I hope you guys have an amazing blessed day and I'll catch you guys on the next video